Alrighty, let's play this in full first here. Cool. Oh, nice. Cool, I like this. All right, let me see. Let's check out your notes as well. You talked about some of the uh, ring limitations and squash and stretch. Totally get that. It's very cool though. I already love this. My questions for you are, what do we need this? It seems like a weird... Because because of barely any t things moving here, nothing in terms of the foreground that can come at you, this can be seen as either camera move, which that's what it seems like because of this slight movement here, or the character sliding forward. I don't know. I don't think we need this. You're also getting very bottom heavy in terms of your framing. I mean, I'm cheating a little bit here. Here's my here's my thing here. So there's a lot of room here. To me, it feels like I would probably move the cameras that the head is around here. And then you have that and then feet are kind of up there. So to me, it would be something a bit higher. So that when you get to this, mm, I take it back. You do have this here, huh? You do want to go this high. It just seems so low. Maybe find a, a sweet spot for maybe when this is your highest point. Even if your framing is here and we cut off this, make it a bit more comfortable. Because once we get to here, we're just again so close to this. With just it's just almost like a tangent, like we're just cutting it off right there. But then it gets a bit more comfortable. So I don't know, maybe we can play around with this a little bit more where we're a bit more balanced, a bit higher. And even if it cuts it off a little bit at the beginning, that's okay. And then you can reframe it to what you have here. Watch out, this feels a bit drifty. Your arms here. Whoop, before it gets into this, I think you can you can potentially have a little of breathing, chest up and down, shoulder, arms up and down if you want to, or if you want to go in a bit more limited style, and keep it fairly still, pretty much, and then go and just really snap into this without that soft move here. It's cool though. I already have some foot detail there. Just watch out how sometimes the feet move a bit in sync. Like right now, these two, it's a bit too in sync. I'll probably offset that a bit more. Same thing with this. Arms coming up and down here. All of that as you continue with your next pass. I'll get a bit more um, asymmetry in there. And even though this is kind of neat with this flowing into this, I will probably still have a slight bend either up for your elbow or down. So we understand that break and pro and have a bit more of a silhouette on that wrist. Even if it's just on the upper part and then you can still have your thing come out there to be a bit more like this. There's a slight chance of twinning, but you're fairly low here, which is okay. It's basically, it's good to see the length of the arm. This, this in silhouette mode is, you just don't quite know how long that arm really is. And I like this breakup where this gets a bit too much into a stump. At least for me personally. And it looks like there are pupils. So the question is, this feels a bit... Like we don't see the eyes too much. Maybe you want to bring that head lower. And I, I know you're going low here. It's just at this point, we don't... You barely see this and we barely see the pupil here. I would kind of just... Maybe maybe go even higher so it really looks up. So we don't have to see the eyes. But this is kind of right in the middle. I want to see the eyes, but I can't really. On something like this, if you just go down with the roots, I would still have a slight change in the overall body rotation, which then will affect the head. Like right now, there's not much going on in the head, especially on this, where I would have a little bit of roll this way, a bit of slight tilt on the head. And then you can level out, and that's fine. And then you go back down into this. That's cool. This in silhouette, I wonder if you can push this and go... I really push that move with the foot being a bit more like this so that we have a bit more of a break on that leg. Um, my drawing skills are horrible, so not sure if this will help. But something where, again, we might have a bit more... Not that it has to be all profile. What I'm reacting to is that big lump and just that foot coming out. And even here, it's a bit hard to see that break in the leg where like this is cleaner. I mean, your white on white is not helping, so you might have to change your colors a little bit. 
But this again, silhouette wise, just like this feels like a tube. This just feels like a blob with a shoe. And I think if you can give this a bit more definition, because I don't think you can shape this, the pants at that area there. This could have, for me, I would probably push this a bit more where you can go even a bit higher with your shoulders, uh, with your elbows, shoulders up and elbows up for a bit more of a up and shot into this. It just feels a bit timid. And go. But then you have all the, those energy streaks where I would really push the animation. Go and up and into this. And I know he's more on the heavier side, but I almost feel like you can almost accentuate this and make this even a bit faster. There's just something about this is telling us it's so fast and has so much energy. But then I look at the feet and it feels kind of slow. Bloop, 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 bloop. Potentially push that a bit more. This is totally up to you, but it could be also interesting to do a run where it's not just straight at us. But since he's kind of pointing this way, that you do a, a run that overall is a bit of a, a curvature like this. A bit to the left, a bit to the right. So that when you jump, it's fairly straight there. Huh? But you have a bit of an end towards the right. It could almost be something where you might go run like this. And then shoo, so that when he jumps, he's a bit more, ever so slightly more. He are off center, which is good. But maybe even a bit more. So you have an overall move. Shoo, during all of this that he gets a bit more like that so that he can land. You know what I mean? Like he lands this way, which then works in your favor because he exits screen right. I'm just trying to find ways to make this a bit less straight, straight, straight. Give this a bit more a more of a dynamic flow by adding a bit of, of, like I said, a change in the path. Even if it's subtle, that way it will give your character a bit of lean for some more visual asymmetry, so it's not always in this twinny form. That's cool. This potentially cheat the head over if you can. I know you talked about some limitations, so I don't know if you can, how much you can push this where... I don't know if you can stretch out that leg. I know it's... I know you said all those things, but where it's a bit more... I don't know if you want to go into, like, uh, bow shape, but, you know, I don't know how much you want to break this, but give this a bit more of a like it's kind of there but it's mostly this arm and this and it would be cool to get kind of an expression in the face in there that's cool this feels a bit meek i don't know it feels like you want to go and this would have more outward stretched arms like less elbow to the body and more out at least to me just pushing that a bit more that's cool and i love that hold here that little moment, who holds, but I will probably hold and either hold with arm here or above, but I wouldn't go so long into covering the face. So whatever you do, find a hold that we not, don't go higher than this. If you can see more of the face. It's cool though, and I like your... text at the end the framing where again it feels like there's a tension right there where you want to personally frame this a bit more like that where this just ends nicely here and we have a bit more of the ground what is this what am i doing here oh i'm doing circles <laughs> he changed to freehand here so you got that but then again that white to me that horizon line can come into here and finish so all of this is still the ground <coughs> Excuse me. And that's that. I think it'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I know. I'll leave it at that. It's very cool. Love this idea. It's cool to play with this. Cool to see the rig there. Um, and then you tell me if you can push uh, facially things. So he's not always stuck in that same pose. Is there anything where you can bring up eyebrows, make the eyes bigger? So anything with the mouth, opening the jaw? I have never played with this rig, so I don't know. Um, so that we can push this so it's not always stuck in this expression. All right, I'll leave it at that. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.